Hey everybody, I'm Lizzie Hale from Hailstorm and you're watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, Graham from Loudwire here, Wikipedia Fact or Fiction time with Miss Lizzie Hale. Thank you so I'm much. I'm a little nervous. Really? Uh, yeah. You shouldn't be. What are be they saying on the internet? Horrible things. I know, and you know anything that you put on the internet is true. So. Exactly. Well, that's why we do this. So just clear the air. Are those the leather <laughs> pants one of our, our readers sent you? It could be, actually. Probably. I'm really wondering Probably. about that. Probably. I don't know, because I don't think I bought these. They showed you know up in what, my closet might, one day. That might be it. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, first of all, because I do get this stuff wrong sometimes, uh, you were born mm -hmm. Elizabeth May Hale. Correct. They did. Okay, correct. correct. That is that is true. Yes, there you go. The fourth, actually. The fourth? Yeah, I'm the fourth Elizabeth May in my family. Not wow. the last name, obviously, because I'm a girl, but yeah. All right. Interesting tidbit that they did not get. Yeah. Put that on Wikipedia. Yeah, please. <laughs> Uh, it said that yourself and RJ both started learning to play piano at the age of five. Uh, that's only half true. RJ never learned how to play piano. Fiction. Yes. yes. I, I did at age five, but age RJ five? did not. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Yeah, I still do actually. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I started out on piano and then ended up picking up guitar actually later on at age 16. So I decided that's... it was time to pick Elton John or Metallica. <laughs> And that's what it said. You learned to play guitar at 16, so that that is oh, fact. See? There you go. Way <laughs> ahead of me. Uh, it said that uh, Hailstorm was founded in '97, and your father Roger uh, played bass in the band before uh, Josh Smith joined in 2004. Correct. Dad was in Dad was in the band for about a year and a half. <laughs> was, how was he as a musician? Uh, he's a great musician. He's really? uh, he's uh, awesome bass player. He's been playing literally th since he was 13. So. I'm not wow. going to give you my dad's age, but yeah, uh, cool. he's still doing it. He's uh, he's playing in Florida now in a band called Fog, short for four old guys, <laughs> and they just play 60s and 70s like That's so psychedelic good. rock. It's cool. You gotta appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, go dad. Yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, the music, the musician parents are always so good to their kids when it comes to oh yeah, nurturing their talents. Uh, you and RJ released an EP in '99 entitled "Don't Mess with the Time Man." <laughs> Yes, that is correct. What is the time, man? <laughs> um, and <laughs> it was a think piece. Uh, that, so it was high so when, you're, when, when, you, when you're a kid, I think I wrote that when I was 14. Um, so I had had a dream that I was in an elevator and this uh, mythical, whatever, this, you know, obviously it's an imaginary person okay. named Time Man would remind me of all of my past mistakes and make me feel really bad about myself and so it's just kind of my way of saying no regrets in a very uh weird way when i was 14 yes wow um, okay well, yeah you know i don't want to say that's deep but it was interesting it's very high concept yes yeah <laughs> it's a concept please. uh before hailstorm blew up your big claim to fame was appearing on the con the cover of pennsylvanian musician three times was it three times that's what it said mm. I think it was like 99, 2003, yeah, 2004, something yes. like that. Okay, I think so, actually. Yeah. Pennsylvanian That's, musician. Pennsylvania musician. Was that a big deal back then? It was, actually. It That's was like, you know, cool. it's a local musician publication, and, you know, you got to see where all the bands were, and getting, like, approved to advertise in there was a big deal, too. Okay. So, yeah. Was it you yourself on the cover, or you with a bunch of people? Um, there was twice it was the band, and I think once it was just me for like a Valentine's Day issue. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Back before there were selfies, we like took stuff with like, um, you know, just a disposable camera. So it was like of me course. against a white wall. Very classy. I'm sure it's great. <laughs> uh, it said in uh, September 2007, Hailstorm appeared on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno as a part of a jaywalking segment. Was that 2007? Yeah. Uh, okay, so we were staying at the Oakwoods Apartments, and uh, apparently he frequents there for the jaywalking segment and just knocks on random people's doors. Okay. So, oh, he, so he literally, he, he knocked on, so in, on the floor below us, um, one of the people that, that worked for, uh, that used to work for Atlantic was staying there for some reason, and she clued him in, but didn't tell us. Okay. So literally like, he knocks on the door and in walks this big chin. We're like, that's, he looks like Jay Leno. <laughs> Holy crap, that is Jay Leno. What the hell is Jay Leno doing here? Next thing you know, we're all dressed up like cheerleaders and stuff. It's really, yeah, you should look it up. It's, I'm sure If you want to see all my guys in skirts, that's that's the link for you. I will be looking that up when I get home. Uh, 
Ms. Hyde, uh, it said that you wrote the song as a reflection of having two sides of your own life. Um, yes, there's definitely a dichotomy that comes with me. And um, right now it's all about balance. <laughs> yes. It's for one. Um, there's also a, a third party to that, which uh, the guys like Ooh. to call Night Lizzie, which nobody wants to see. Night Lizzie. Um, that's after, uh, after a bottle of wine. I was about to say, I bet yeah. a little few drinks are probably involved. You don't, right. you don't want to believe anything I say after that one. <laughs> okay, don't listen to Night Lizzie. We're talking to Ms. Jekyll. I suppose, you, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, I'm normal right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, Hailstorm was the last band to share the stage with Ronnie James Dio for his final performance in 2009. We found that out after he passed. Yes. And yeah, it was. It was um, what, what an honor, first of all, to even share the stage with the guy. Um, but also just such a sweet human being, so oh I'm, I'm glad that was able to happen. Is, was, that must have been a heavy thing to realize that we were on that last show. It, it was, because we, um, because it was a fluke accident that we even got to play the show. We were coming home from a tour, and the opening band that was on that tour was Coheed and Cambria. They oh, dropped right. off yep. of the tour last show. They needed an opening act, so of course my manager like figured it out. He called me up like, do you want to open up for for Ronnie and Black Sabbath, I'm like, I will walk there. Yes, you know, do anything. Of so, um, so yeah, we did it. And then after we had gotten to know their crew, and a lot of their crew started coming to see some of our shows. And when we found out he was diagnosed, you know, like, so how's Ronnie? And and everybody was always super positive. He got to keep all his hair. He's yeah, doing good. True. And then all of a sudden, he's yeah. gone. So, oh, we miss him so I know. much. Uh, last one. Uh, you were informed that. Hailstorm was nominated for a Grammy while mid-performance on stage. Yes, in Madison, Wisconsin. These are all correct. You guys are yeah. I, you guys most are good. of them are right. You know, I'm, you guys are good. I'm a little I'm, disappointed, I know, but really. there's a little bit wrong in there, so I'm happy. Uh, that must have been an amazing moment to was, share with your fans. It was very cool, and uh, we actually—it's funny because there was a photographer that literally got my like holy fuck face, you know, and uh, and it was just awesome because um, I guess like so. You know, guitar. My guitar player just walked across the stage and told me while I was kind of talking to the crowd, and I must have looked like somebody died. You know, and oh, yeah. and so everyone's like, "What's happening? What's happening?" You know. So I just turned and I tell the audience, "I'm like, we just got nominated for a Grammy." And it, you would have thought like football team and yes. just you know <laughs> won. And so victory, uh, Super Bowl. Yeah, awesome, it was very cool. And of course, you guys won. Yeah, super cool. I want to thank you so much oh, for joining welcome. me today. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, sorry to, that there weren't t more yeah. lies. It's okay. I, I take disappointment <laughs> Next time, well. Maybe, maybe I'll go on and edit and put some weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, please. I, we'll do this again someday. All right. All right. Uh, into the wildlife. Get the record if you haven't already. Lizzie thank fucking you so much. hail. Yeah.